Yo, Patch here. Welcome back to a brand new Juice review. It's, it always feels like it's been a couple of weeks since my last one. But with work, starting a new job, spending quality time with the family now as well. Um, there's going to be a few gaps. But I've had these in the vape drawer at Patch HQ for a while now, but they just need to sleep. They're from a company called Dunsford eLiquids.co.uk. Um, a small company uh, run by a chap, I think, uh, Chris Dunsford. Um, juices created for vapors by vapors. Um, a small company down down south, um, and they're all made in a in a in a clean lab with um, the best of UK ingredients and so forth. Now I must apologise because I did get sent uh, two, three, six juices. One juice I took out of me yesterday, which was um, short ham, and I subsequently left it on a park bench in Higham when I went to visit the Scarecrow Festival, which was amazing, by the way. Um, some of you may have already seen the pictures I posted up on Facebook. So apologies, but what I can say about short ham is that it is a really creamy, decadent sort of custard, vanilla custard flavour. Um, it took a couple of weeks to steep, naturally custards do. Um, but I will say this, I will put my namesake and stuff on the block and say it's probably one of the finest straight custard juices I've tried this year. There are a few others that are fantastic as well. But this was a really nice creamy custard. You got that vanilla on the inhale. You got the creaminess. And then on the exhale, you just got the abundance of custard flavour. It's just a really, really good custard flavour. Unfortunately, because I lost it, um, I can't actually put that in the review. And I'm so, so gutted about that because it was a, a fantastic, a fantastic flavour. But if you like your custard flavours, then, you know, go for it. It's a really pucker custard flavour. So I'm just moving some of my other half's makeup brushes out of the way because... She takes over the vape desk to get ready before we go out. Anyway, he has sent me, obviously, six juices. I've got five of them here. I have got Norway, Silverback, Grizzly Bear, arr, Clownfish, and French Bulldog. French Bulldog and Clownfish are part of a dripper range that I'm guessing he will um, circulate, chop and change from month to month. These are the two that will appear on the website in the dripper section, I'm, I'm assuming, for a month. And then obviously maybe new flavours come on board. Um, I'm not really too sure, but I looked on the website this morning and obviously it said that these are on the dripper range for a month. Um, I'm guessing these juices have been specifically sort of set up uh, that will taste great in tanks, but taste even more amazing on your dripper setups. Four ninety nine gets you ten mils. Thirteen ninety nine gets you thirty mils. You can have them in a range of nicotine strengths. Uh, just go on the website, check them out. I mean, we go we go from 0, 6, 12, 18, and twenty four. You can have them in fifty fifty mixes, VG heavy or VG max. Um, VG max, I'm assuming, will be about ninety odd percent VG because obviously nothing's a hundred percent because of your nicotine base, etc. Um, I chose fifty fifty blend at six milligrams because um, that's like my chosen strength. Fresh bit of cotton. I've been waffling too much. I'm going to start off with Grizzly Bear. Now, I don't normally go on websites to see what the flavours are. because, But some of these have had me puzzled beyond belief. Now, these have been steeping for the best part of 10, 10 days, maybe a little bit less. It's darkened slightly. But with this, this is meant to be a maple... A maple syrup type vape with hints of pecan um, and things like that and sugar and caramel but when I smell this I have to be perfectly honest it smells quite chemically chemical 
And it could be because of all the sweetness that's in it. I don't know. But to be fair, it doesn't smell great. I know juices, a lot of juices don't smell great, but this doesn't smell great at all. But anyway, let's put some on. And if nothing else, it will uh, take the taste of coffee that I've been drinking all morning. Right, here we go. Freshly on, fresh battery on, on the iGo L. Top cap on. Drip tip. Let's take a two. Grizzly bear. Arr. Great vapor production, as you can see. No clicky of the hands for the padge on this juice. It's quite creamy. But really, I'm not getting anything else from it. It's bizarre. I get hints of chocolate. I'm getting accents of chocolate. I'm not getting the maple. I'm not getting any hints of pecan. I'm vaping this at about 1.1, 1.2 ohms. I get quite a nice chocolate, nice chocolate sort of cream coming through, but I'm not getting an awful lot of anything else. Good throat hit. These, I believe these are six milligram juices. Um, this is what, I, they're not marked off as six, but it's unfortunate because I like the name of it and I like the sort of ingredients that were going into it, but very, very good vapor at 50 50. Maybe this might taste better in a tank, I don't know, but really, I'm not much of a tank user. But really, you should be able to pick out the flavours, be it in a tank or on a dripper. Even more so on a dripper because you're direct dripping straight onto that coil. It's a nice chocolate. Again, chocolate's very hit and miss, but the chocolate is bang on in this. The creaminess is bang on in this. I just would have liked to have maybe have got that sort of maple accent coming through. The hint of pecans, I, I just don't get at all. Maybe I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to this juice. I'm going to give this another week. And I'm going to come back to this juice because maybe it's one of these flavours that just takes a hell of a long time to to steep. But really now I'm very much, unless it's a custard, juice is really, in my opinion, and it is only my personal opinion, really shouldn't take that long to steep. You know, you know three or four days and they should be, you know, should be coming through loud and proud. But I'm going to give that another week and I'll come back to that grizzly bear because as I say, the chocolate in that is really, really good. I'm going to pause this, change my cotton, and come back with silverback. Welcome back. Um, silverback. Now, I didn't go into any of the bottles, but these are the bottles up close. I really like the labelling on these. Nice picture of a gorilla. Um, reminds me of... Um, oh, that gorilla they used to have at London Zoo that's now sort of become sort of... An iconic sort of bronze statue in London Zoo. And I can't think of the name of the gorilla, but he lived for many, many years. Um, but I love the labelling. On the back here, you've got your nicotine strengths. And obviously, your, your mix. So you know exactly what you're getting. Oh, eight milligrams these are. Because I don't think he had any six ready. That was what it was. So. Right. Silverback. Very clever. Getting, I'm getting banana. It smells like a candy banana, you know, like the foam bananas. So I'm getting a hint of that. Let's put a bit on the dripper. I'm hoping this might be a banana custard or something. Cause it... Let's 
Let's take a two. Oh, <laughs> it's a banana. A decent, decent banana. I've got something coming in on the back. Mm. That is just a gorgeous banana. It is a foam candy banana, not like a fresh banana, but a candied banana foam penny sweet. We all remember them. We all love them. Well, some do, some don't. But your mouth just becomes overloaded with that banana flavour on the intake. It is sublime. It really is. Good throat hit. These are slightly stronger than what I vape at, but the throat hit is, is bang on. The vapour production for a 50-50 is superb. And then on the back of that, on the exhale, I'm getting hints of chocolate again. It's almost like a banana and chocolate custard. No, it's, it's not a custard. It's banana and chocolate with a slight, slightest hint of cream. And that chocolate is quite vague in the background. It's not overpowering. It's just sitting quite nicely behind the banana. The banana is the, the main runner of the juice. But I like this. As Jim Carrey said in um, Dumb and Dumber, I like it. I like it a lot. Almost had a bit Michael Caine, that, didn't it? Not a lot of people know this. That is a very, very decent banana vape. If you like your banana flavours, then try Silverback. It is really good. Guy the Gorilla. That's what I was thinking of at London Zoo. Sorry, I have these moments where I get sidetracked. Absolutely phenomenal. Now I'm going to leave... Norway to the last because it's a menthol but I'm going to go straight on to clownfish now when I smell this it smells a nothing I just don't get much from it at all yet yeah. and you can do this people this is a good way of testing juices you can sort of put a tiny drop on your finger and taste it does you know um I do it a lot of the time actually trying juices and I get a peach I get a peach and this is one of the dripper exclusive first tastes so um, it's two new flavors that they've brought out let's take a two I've never had peach. I've never had a peach fruit vape in my life. This for me is really clean. It's a clean flavor. On that initial toot, you're getting a lot of peach. You're getting good vapor production, a decent throat hit. And then on the back end of it, it's almost fizzy. It's almost like a peach sort of sherbet fizziness to it. I could vape this all day. I could vape the um, Silverback all day. They're just really, really good, clean flavours. Good vapour reduction as well. The only thing I can say about these is they take a long time to get going. You know, they've been in my, they've taken a long time to steep to actually sort of come through. It's a really, really good peach flavour. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything else in that, but I'm just getting a really nice peach fruit with that. And as I say on the back end, it's almost sherbet-like. It's almost fizzy-like. But it's a really nice juice, and it's very, very, very refreshing. So I could vape that all day. I'm going to pause and come back with some French Bulldog 
That was a bit like my grizzly bear, wasn't it? Grizzly bear. Arr. Sounds the same. Never mind. Welcome back. Just getting some fresh cotton. I mean, people are saying to me, Padge, what are you using these days in the way of wicking materials? Well, at the moment, and for the best part of a couple of weeks now, I've been using this Japanese cotton that I've got pads from um, Mrs. Lord & Co. And they come in squares. You know, for the life of me, I can't think where I've put them all. But um, these are all a bit mashed up now. But I've just been separating them and they just... They just wick really, really well. So, just bung a fresh bit of cotton in. Give me cotton a quick trim. Have a quick. Right, French Bulldog. Now, this does have a really nice smell to it. I get raspberries with this. And custard on the back. And I have been vaping this quite a lot. And then I looked on the website, but I'll tell you why I looked on the website once I've given you what I got on my initial taste of this juice. Because it was a little bit of a, a brain bender. Let's take a two. Mmm. On that initial two, I'm getting raspberries with this vanilla. And I'm guessing it's like a French vanilla because of the namesake. French Bulldog, French vanilla. Great vapour, great throat hit. And then on the exhale, I got something and I couldn't quite put my finger on it. On the exhale, I was getting something that was almost cake-like. I thought at first... It was a custard, but then I thought, no, it's not creamy enough for a custard. And then I took a couple more toots. And I was getting this cake, almost sponge. And I thought to myself, you know what? It's like a sponge, but it's not because I'm almost getting this sugarness, sugary sort of coating to it on the top. And I, I was racking my brains thinking, well, it's obviously not like an apple pie because it's not got any apples in it. But so I looked on the website. I just thought I've got to look and have and see what I'm getting, see what I'm I'm getting close to. And it's actually a pastry. He's put a pastry note on the back of this. And as soon as I read it and then I vaped it again, I thought that was what I was getting. It was almost spongy, but with a with a sugar sugary top to it. So really, it was more like a pastry, and it is. It's a raspberry French vanilla pastry, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And it's right up there on my on my flavour profile. I love me pudding vapes anyway. This is quite sweet. If you like your vapes sweet, you're going to enjoy it. If you don't like them too sweet, then this might not be for you. But the raspberry in it is delicious. The French vanilla you get sort of in the excuse me in the middle and then on the exhale you get that pastry it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna go on to very quickly with Norway I think that's how you pronounce it I pronounce it Narway, but I'm not sure whether it's there's a spelling out error and it's meant to be Narwhale because it's gone like it's almost got like a sperm whale on the picture. Be right back. Right, welcome back. As I said, it, this is Narway or Narwhale. Not sure if there's a spelling error on there and it's meant to have an E on the end. Um, also, it's quite weird because with the short ham, 
way the, the lettering's done, it almost looked like short horn. And I was, mm, bizarre name, but it's short ham, I think, or short horn. I never quite know because the lettering is so close together. It almost makes a letter look like something else. It almost makes me look slightly dyslexic. And I'm not knocking people that are. So um, I'm not trying to make a joke out of it either. But just saying that because the lettering is so close together. But with this, I get the faintest smell of a menthol. And really, I would expect quite a pungent smell if it was a menthol. But I'm guessing it's a menthol flavour. Let's take a two. A benthol. I'm not giving it the clicks because for me it's a menthol. It's a. It's not a lot to it. I'm not getting much else but a menthol, like um. A spearmint sort of menthol. Menthols to me are pretty much all of the same. Um, I don't really vape a lot of menthol unless I get vapor's tongue. It's a clean, fresh menthol. There's something in there, but I don't know what it is. Needless to say, it really gets you. It's a really clean menthol flavour. If you like your spearmint menthols, just like really something that's kind of cool on the ex on the inhale and on the exhale, then you're actually going to like that. For me, it's not saying I'd vape all the time. I'd go back to it periodically. But there you have it. Some great juices from Dunsford eLiquids.co.uk. Like I say, special thanks to uh, Chris for sending them to me. Um, they were sending me free of charge for the purposes of review, but they are my my art fair comments and full honest reviews of them um taste is very subjective let's not forget that but grizzly bear i'm going to come back to in about a week's time i want to give that another another hit and see whether the flavor changes see whether i can get some more of that maple note coming through that pecan coming through on the back but i have to say uh the two forerunners the two top top juices for me out of this range so far has been silverback and short ham or short horn um one's a custard one's a banana and chocolate and they're just fantastic and then i suppose in third place would have to be that french bulldog um and then the peach i'm not a big fruit flavored person it is an all-day vape but i have to be in the mood for fruit juices and stuff but when i'm on the fruits i'm on the fruits if you know what i mean so uh Go along to the website, check them out. 10 mils, 4.99, 30 mils, 13.99. All your flay, all your different mixes and your nicotine strengths are there. Please like, subscribe, share and comment as always. I'm on Instagram, Wookie77. Uh, the Padge Facebook page. I was going to take that away, but I've decided to keep it. Um, also on Twitter. Um, have a great Monday bank holiday. Um, it's not too clever, the weather here, so I'm going to have a movie day this afternoon with the family. Stay safe. I've been the Padge. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.